Here we will solve a distance equals rate times time problem. Imagine we have two trains that leave a station at the same time. One train goes east and the other goes west. The eastbound train is going 20 miles per hour slower than the westbound train. And let's suppose that they are 900 miles apart after five hours. Question is, what is the rate of the eastbound train? So in this problem we do not know either of the train's actual rates. So we're going to have to try to set up a chart or set up some equations to try to put this information together. So the first unknown is the rate of the westbound train. Well, they're both unknown, but let's call the rate of the westbound train equal to x. And the reason I'm choosing to let west be the variable x is because the sentence in the problem says the eastbound train is going 20 miles per hour slower than the west. So if we suppose that the westbound train is x, some variable, eastbound train must be 20 slower than that, which would be x minus 20. Next, the amount of time that the two trains are traveling for is 5 hours. So the time is 5 and the time is 5 for both of the trains. Then, since distance is equal to rate times time, we know that the distance traveled by the eastbound train will be x minus 20 multiplied by 5, which is 5x minus 100. And on the other hand, the distance traveled by the westbound train will be its rate times time, which would be x times 5, or 5x. Okay, now what does this information tell us altogether? Well, we have the distance traveled by the eastbound train, which is 5x minus 100. And then we have the distance traveled by the westbound train, which is 5x. So all totaled, what is the total distance traveled by both trains? That would indicate how far apart they were since they started at the same place and one headed east and one headed west. Well, according to the problem, we actually know that the distance that they are apart after five hours is 900. And this gives us the equation that we can use to solve. So, we'll do some algebra here. 5x minus 100 plus 5x. Collecting like terms would give us 10x minus 100. That's equal to 900. Then we'll add 100 to both sides to yield 10x equals 1,000. And then we'll divide by 10 to yield x equals 100. Now before you go into a test and answer too quickly, we just found out that x equals 100. So remember when we go back to the problem here that x represented the speed of the westbound train. That's 100. However, this problem is asking for the eastbound train. And the eastbound rate, the eastbound train's right rate is x minus 20. x was 100. 100 minus 20 is 80. And therefore the correct answer to this problem would be 80 miles per hour.